And I've got a little treat for you this afternoon. Actually, I shouldn't say a little treat. I should say a huge treat. We have Carl Wolf, I'm not kidding, in the studio today. Hey. <laughs> there he is. What's going on, Amy? Hey, Carl. It's so great to uh, have you here. Now, Thank you. You are playing a big show tomorrow night at Harbor Station. Yes, it's going to be crazy. We, I brought my whole band from, from Canada, from uh, Montreal with me. I'm sorry. I'm just traveling the world these days, so I, I have to say Canada. You're all but over the place. Yeah, yeah. I just got back from Japan, Egypt, so... Really tired, but we're excited. I got one day rest. And, uh, and that's all you need. Somebody. You are Carl Wolf. Yes. I didn't expect that you would need any more. Oh, <laughs> see that? She's so cute and she's sweet. So, Carl, okay, so we just heard Africa. Now, Africa, massive, massive hit. Yeah. Massive hit, especially uh, not only in Canada, but yeah. in Japan, oh, yeah. all kinds of other countries. And Everywhere. originally based off of the worldwide hit uh, Africa from Toto. Of course. Why that song? I just, when I was a kid, I loved that song. I, I heard it for the first time when I was about 10 or 11 and just uh, heard that chorus and I was sold since then. I, I, I always wanted to make music that made me feel the same way Toto made me feel. So, and, so I, and, and then if you listen to any of my other songs, there are always a lot of harmonies in the chorus. And it's always, you know, it, it's, it's a blend between R&B and just good 80s feel, you know. So I just thought, what better song to remake than uh, Toto's Africa? I really, really like what you did with Africa. I'm just going to put it out there. I love it. Mm. I think adding that R&B element to such a classic song from the 80s right. was genius. Thank you. It, totally good <laughs> job, Carl. Well, High five. Well, thank you. Thank you. And, and thanks to, to, to all of Canada, actually, for supporting it because uh, it's triple platinum now since a week or two weeks ago. Which is that's right. That's so many, yeah, sold. It's amazing. It spent a lot of time actually on the charts. It uh, in uh, the Canadian Hot 100. It charted mm. at number two for a very long time, yeah. and uh, stayed on the chart for 37 weeks. Yeah. That's a massive. Now it's 40 weeks. Now it's 40 yeah, weeks. 40 okay, weeks. Yeah. I, my, uh, I'm a little behind there. 40 yeah. weeks, which is an incredible amount of time. And uh, reached number two. It, just a great job with yeah, Africa. Thank Good you. job. The whole thank album's fantastic. Thank you. We play Carrera here on the station, and uh, everybody Aww. loves that song. I love Carrera. I, tol- I love Carrera, yeah. too. I love the video for Carrera. <laughs> I was watching it last night, actually, yeah? getting uh, ready to chat with you today. And yeah, I really... Did you like really- the ending? I do like the ending. (laughs) (laughs) That was the whole thing. It was like, to be continued. I don't know if I'm going to continue it. I like it all. I like it all. Now, tomorrow night is the big show. Um, You, Sean Kingston, Danny Fernandez, and I don't know if you know this, Carl, but our St. John Idol, we have a, uh, the wave, uh, we have an event every year, every summer. It's called St. John Idol. My agent told me something about this. Yes. Well, our St. John Idol 2009, his name is Stephen Smith. He wrote his own song, and um, he's going to be performing and opening up for the show. So, really exciting for him. He's super pumped. Yeah. He's a young guy. He's like starting he's, off. And, oh, yeah. Just starting off. And uh, he's just kind of, you know, making his way into music and uh, performance uh, art and that kind of thing. And I read a quote from you, actually. Last night, I found it. Mm. Really, really like this. Um, you're quoted as saying, I'm trying to be peaceful in my meaning and message. We are influential as singers, and I love to influence kids in a great way. Yeah. I think that is so sweet. I mean, it's important, you know, for, for a singer, musician, or someone who's in the public eye to not always, you know, just be seen as a, as a party animal and just going out and doing, you know, not so good things. You know what I mean? So to me... Uh, first of all, being Lebanese, Canadian as well, you know, being an immigrant here, I also want to let people know that, you know, we're not all, you know, bad people either. You know what I mean? I'm just like you. You know, I just I love good music and love to have fun and a good time. And I want to have a family one day. And, I, you know, and I thank Canada for giving me a home and a peaceful home because uh-huh. Lebanon had so many problems, you know, and we've had wars for so long. So I, I kind of now I feel like I have a future thanks right. to Canada. And I want to kind of educate people in a way that, you know, I'm, I'm like you, you know, so we're, we're as peaceful and fun and I want to continue uh, being part of this country, you know, that gave me a home and, and security for my future. That's wonderful. That is so yeah. sweet, Carl. Um, also, too, I wanted, this is quite the accomplishment. I read this last night and uh, I was, I wasn't surprised, doesn't surprise me at all. Mm-hmm. The song's fantastic, but I was, uh, it's quite the accomplishment. Now, you actually, um, where is it here? You... The video for Africa yeah. was the first uh, video clip to be played on uh, MTV uh, Arabia. Yeah. MTV Arabia. Yeah. That's wild. I know. That was amazing. I mean, when they chose that, uh, I thought it was great. But you know what? It kind of did make sense at the time because uh, MTV Arabia was, you know, just think about it. It's like n- East meets West. That's right. And that's kind of what I am, you know, yeah. born in Beirut, Lebanon and, and came here, you know. Moving and to Montreal. Exactly. And becoming so a I Canadian. feel like I'm, I'm, I'm basically half half. And that's what my music represents. That's why I've got a next single that's coming out called Yalla Habibi, which yes. means let's go, my love. 
and it's it's an R&B English song, but it's it's fusing a little bit of Arabic music. And I think I, I don't know. I just because Indian music's been been there for a long time, like J Ho with with, with uh, the Pussycat right. Dolls. Um, there's been so Missy Elliott has been using a lot of Indian influences, but no one's ever used any Arabic influences in a long time. JT kind of he he dabbled with that, but I think I'm going to be the first guy to bring something like that in North America, and uh, and it's getting interest from everybody from Akon to to, to a lot of different artists. So it's you exciting. are you you're being noticed by a lot of artists. Now, yeah. you just mentioned JT. I heard a little birdie tell me you actually wrote a song for yeah, Justin we, Timberlake. we did. We were working on his uh, album. Uh, this was a while back. It didn't make it on, finally. But uh, the record company was really interested in that one song. Um, but we had to change it up and Dr. Dre was doing some stuff. What was Dr. Dre? Timberland, sorry. You've worked with a lot of people. A yeah. lot of collaborations. Like, on your first album, uh, The Face Behind the Face, great album, mm-hmm. um, that you worked with Chuck Lair. Yeah, yeah, yeah Canadian yeah, Chuck Lair. 100%, man. That's my dude. I just spoke to him, like, last week. Yeah, he's yeah. He's doing really well. He's, he's, he's touring. He's still doing this thing. We're actually doing a show together soon. Uh, my agent's trying to hook it up. We, just, we do, like, a collabo again. Um, Snoop Dogg. Dog. Snoop Dogg, of course. We did a track together. We did a street track with him. Um, I've been touring with uh, Mary J. Blige, um, Kelly Rowland, um, Akon, I've been on like nine different shows with Akon. I just spoke to him last week as well, not even a couple of days back. He's doing really well. He's in LA. So, I mean, I'm connected with everybody right now. And it's just a matter of time for, for me to take over the U.S. It's, as well. Yeah, it's and I don't have any doubt that you, you have any... I don't have any uh, doubt you'll have Thank trouble you. uh, doing that at all. You're Thank doing you. great. Thank I've you. got a few questions for you, Carl. Yeah. I just came up with these on my own last night. Sure. So it's just question period. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, I really want to know what your favorite song is, to perform live is. Africa. Africa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You know what? These days it's been Carrera too, just because the way I, I kind of remixed uh, the show version, like you guys will see tomorrow night. It's crazy. It just, it just like we would put more energy into so it. So you did remix the show of version. Course. We always oh, do oh, every every song on, on my whole album when we perform it live. It's always different. Yeah, it's like I love it, that. Yeah, you have to. You want to give them something fresh, and we extend it. You know, and love then we it. get the, the the crowd participation as well. You know, there's well, there you thing. go. If you're heading to the show tomorrow night, Harbor Station, get your tickets now. Go to the phone right now, six five seven twelve thirty four. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss out exactly. on the show. It's going to be wild. Now, I do have to ask you this, please. Carl, what is Super Juice? <laughs> oh, man, you really do your research. Like, no one would know that. That's amazing. I read Amy. all about the Super Juice last night. How, how, how would you do that? Where is it? Oh, my God. It's okay. on the internet, believe me. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Well, Super Juice, okay, is... I just call it Super Juice. It's basically, um, um, like, solid, solidified honey. And I use it for my voice. So every time, like, that's the secret of my success. Look at my voice, how it's, like, it's kind of dry right now. Before a show, I always take, like, three, and then my voice is like Celine Dion. There you go. Yeah, not, not exactly the that's same high the, pitch, Oh, but, well, you know. you're, you're pretty... <laughs> I'd say you're right up there, Carl. Um, <laughs> no worries there. I also read that uh, for a time you wanted to become a filmmaker, mm-hmm. and I was wondering if you've ever been asked to write a song for film. A song for film? I have, I have. I, I, I never really got into that. I basically get... I, I'm doing a lot of directing, so I'm directing all my music videos. Africa was co-directed by myself. Uh, Carrera, fully directed by myself. Um, and Yalla Habibi, the new video, which you guys can probably watch online anyways uh, on YouTube. It's called Yalla Habibi. Um, it was shot in Dubai, and that, that like was a big budget video. I directed all those. I'm getting into movies. I'm writing a script right now. Wonderful. Um, a horror script, like a psychological thriller. My favorite films are horror Amazing. films, Carl. This one's Maybe crazy. we have to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You ready to act? I'm ready to act. Yeah. I'm ready to. <laughs> you look the part. She's well, hot, by the way. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh. Now, Carl, a little birdie told me sometimes that mm-hmm. the shirt does come off at the at the performance. The shirt comes off once once in a while. Can Saint John handle it? <laughs> I don't think so. I d- <laughs> I've been I've been working out. I've been working out. My trainer is a big black guy. I'm and, sitting, and he's been uh, killing me. I'm so. sitting here right now looking at Carl, and I'm, yeah. I don't know if St. John's ready for this, Carl. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have to go to the show, though. You, you'll be missing out. Exactly. Carl, it's been fantastic having you in the studio. Likewise. What a treat. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so right. much. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll play another track here from uh, Carl's album. Yeah, I Carrera, think Carrera. 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 You want to hear? Carl's requesting Carrera. <laughs> Okay, I think we can definitely do that. So uh, we're going to get Carl Wolf Carrera on here. And while we're doing that, while you're listening to the song, I want uh, you guys to go get your tickets right now for Harbor Station tomorrow night. See you there. Do it, do it. <laughs> All right, sounds good, Carl. We'll All talk right, to you John. after. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Peace.